How does one define, what is liquidity risk in a bank? Risk arising from an inability to maintain funding at all times under all conditions. Okay, maintain funding of the balance sheet at all times and under all conditions. So that means funding assets, but of course also making sure that all liability obligations can be honoured as well, principally with respect to customer deposits. Okay, so liquidity risk is the risk arising from an inability to maintain funding of the balance sheet at all times and under all conditions, including non-business as usual, non-stable market conditions. Liquidity risk is a function of normal banking operations. If you remember from lecture one, the four principles or the four orthodox principles of banking, one of which was the assumption of continuous liquidity, the assumption that banks will always be able to raise liquidity when they need. That's not necessarily a strong assumption in a stable market, but uh, to have that view in perpetuity makes it a strong assumption, which is why we mitigate liquidity risk. One could manage liquidity risk by matching assets and liabilities on both a contractual and behavioral basis, but um, that's not actually what banking is. If you remember from, again, the principles of the orthodox principles of banking was this maintenance of the funding gap, the fact that one raises shorter term funding liabilities to fund longer term assets. Okay, so that's why liquidity risk arises. It's a normal fact of life with banking. The normal act of everyday banking generates liquidity risk and therefore we have to manage it uh, in a, such a way that we maintain liquidity at all times and under all conditions. So uh, that's the objective of liquidity risk management to make sure that we can do that and uh, there are many aspects to it as you can see from that list there. Uh, I, I like the fourth bullet point to start with actually, the length of the liquidity time horizon. What sort of time horizon should we expect it to be liquid? In fact there's a key liquidity risk metric survival days metric, or what I call the market lockout horizon, that uh, plays to just that. Would we need to maintain liquidity such that we could maintain a stress? We could, would we need to hold liquidity such that we could maintain going concern basis in perpetuity? Um, not necessarily, or should we imagine we are self-sufficient for funding for the next six months, come what may, or the next 30 days, come what may. So that's one of the issues in liquidity risk management. How do we measure it? How do we, how we're aware of what the, the warning points for it are? To what extent should our own appetite for liquidity risk drive how much liquidity risk we're willing to run? Uh, the regulatory driver, okay, uh, how, what's the liquidity position from a normal condition and from a stress condition? And so on and so forth. Undrawn commitments, treatment of assets with no maturity, no fixed maturity, that sort of thing. So, there's a number of issues, and this, this is not an exhaustive list by, list by no means. I've got nothing there about funds transfer pricing or indeed about managing the liquid asset buffer. So it's a very wide topic, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an area, it's a discipline with a number of, with a large number of, of features and facets to it, and they all play together to ensure we maintain a viable and robust liquidity risk management regime.